Hello, my name is Jim Thomas and welcome to the Fitness Management Update. Our, our topic today is how to navigate change in the year 2020 and more specifically, don't make this mistake. And this is one of the mistakes I'm, I see being made you know, frequently and it becomes a little bit of a kind of a self-fulfilling kind of a thing if we're not careful, is we, what we don't wanna be telling folks is, oh yeah, we are closing. Yeah, we had to close. Yes, we're shutting down. A, we start to act that way, but B, so does your customer. It sends the wrong message here because the truth is you're still in business. You still got members you want to satisfy. You still got a massive audience out there uh, that you want to be able to sell to. You want to push into this marketplace to gain additional relationships. You're very much in business. You didn't close, at least the business didn't, the physical part may have. So we want to make sure we're sending the right message here. And one of the great things that you can say is something like this, you know, as a result of the current environment on a temporary basis, we're gonna be serving you in a different manner. Or as a result of the current environment and on a temporary basis, you know, we will be coaching you in a different manner. As a result of the current environment on a temporary basis, we'll be providing classes for you in a different manner. This is a much better way to communicate this message to your customer because the reality is you're still around and you, you wanna stay around. Don't let them, don't, don't give the impression that you actually did close because that's gonna send the wrong message. People will not wanna pay and uh, you know that's gonna put your business in very much of a hardship. My name is Jim Thomas. This has been the Fitness Management Update. If you would, you know, hit that subscribe button below. Look forward to talking to you in the future.